promising news in Wisconsin's COVID-19 road to recovery. The seven-day positivity rate for new tests in the state has remained below 2% now for more than a week. As of today, it is just 1.4%. Also today, Rock County businesses are now able to return to 100% capacity. It all stems from the significant drop in cases, something we're seeing all across the area. Madeline O'Neill is here to break down the numbers. Maddie. Well, back in the fall, I told you from home about the exponential rise in COVID-19 cases that data experts were really worried about. Now, we're seeing the opposite. Today is the day, yep. The day when these open signs in Rock County can mean fully open. We're at a point now where the case activity is pretty low. The number of people in the hospital is pretty low. Those numbers have Rock County epidemiologist Nick Zupan's spirits high. It feels like a weight off my shoulders when I see the numbers kind of in the single digits in terms of the number of new cases. Especially when compared to mid-November, when Rock County was averaging as many as 170 new cases per day. I was very, very nervous. You know. UW Madison professor August Alagos remembers when Dane County was averaging averaging nearly 500 new cases per day. Now that number is less than 10. It is a huge difference. Alagos estimates we've gone from thousands of active COVID carriers in the county to 20 to 30. What that means is my chance of running into one of those folks is, is much smaller. We first showed you this COVID-19 risk assessment tool in November, when the risk of encountering someone with COVID-19 at a 10-person gathering in Dane County was 34%. Now that's 1%. For 100-person gatherings in most southern Wisconsin counties in November, the risk that someone had COVID was estimated at more than 99%. Now, depending on the county, that ranges from less than 1 to 15%. Compared to, let's say, October, of course, it is a much better time to lift some of those restrictions. Even without restrictions in Rock County, Zupan will keep following the numbers. The numbers are low, but that doesn't mean we couldn't see an increase because we still have a, a pretty large number of people who are unvaccinated. He says getting the shot is the best way to keep from becoming a statistic. It's never too late to get your vaccine. Elagos says that this is a time when infectious disease modelers would expect the virus will die down if there are no other external factors. But there could be in the form of potential variants that are harder to contain, something he and other data experts are keeping a close eye on.